Hey Kickstarter, we're crowdfunding our 60UF joystick as an initial small run of early access units. Modern applications such as space games, drones, robotics, and VR navigation often require six degrees of freedom, also known as 60UF, including not just the three rotations, pitch, yaw, and roll of a traditional joystick, but also the translation axes up, down, left, right, and forward, backward. A common solution is to use multiple traditional joysticks to fill in the extra axes, but this often makes for complicated, non-intuitive solutions for translation. They take a lot of time to learn and require a great deal of concentration to prevent mistakes. This 6DOF controller is a new paradigm for joystick control, a single stick which puts all six degrees of freedom in one hand. It does this by measuring forces applied to the handle. Controlling an application means simply moving the handle in the desired direction. Using force sensors also means that there's no hard physical center to the motion, making small adjustments easier and allowing for fast, smooth input changes with no bearings to wear out over time. The precise force sensors act through a multi-part suspension system so that force can be applied at the handle's center without causing rotation. This provides a blend of kinesthetic feedback, like a traditional motion-based stick, with the reaction speed and sensitivity customization associated with force controllers. For users who like separating rotational and translational controls, the joystick can also be used more simply as an intuitive 3DOF motion controller for delta throttle type control in either hand. The joystick is designed to be fully ambidextrous, requiring only switching the palm rest with the included mirrored spare. For output, the 60UF stick uses standard USB HID reports. This means that it should plug and play with any PC program that can work with six or more axes of analog input from conventional joysticks or other game controllers. We've tested a variety of games with 60UF, most prominently including Elite Dangerous, Star Citizen, and Overload. Beyond gaming, the joystick can also potentially find uses with any other devices and applications that accept input from a standard USB output. We've already heard interest in its varied uses as electronic music and bomb disposal robots, so we're excited to see what users can do with these. As this is primarily designed as a simulation gaming device, it includes a large number of inputs on the handle. There are 32 ambidextrous digital inputs, including a dual stage main trigger, with an additional bump action for the middle finger, a forward bump trigger, a two-way pinky trigger, three two-way levers that can be accessed by the index finger from either side, a thumb button located on the palm rest, an eight-way hat switch with a center push, and two four-way hat switches with center push. It also includes two analog knobs that can be used for throttle or settings adjustment. Many of these features have been carried over and refined from their use in the dozen test units that we built and distributed earlier this year. The joysticks will be highly configurable using a settings program we've developed. The core settings have already been implemented, but we'll continue to improve the UI and settings options during and after production of the early access units. Settings are stored locally on the joystick, so you can use your custom settings without having to continuously run the settings program in the background. Some examples of included settings are sensitivity, output curve shape, dead zones, inversion, and axis output order. Multiple sets of settings can be uploaded at once as modes, and joystick buttons can be programmed to select different settings modes on the fly. This can be used, for instance, to temporarily reduce sensitivity or increase dead zones when very slow, precise movements are desired. The current mode is displayed by using one of the three mode LEDs at the top of the handle. A vibrating motor in the handle can also be optionally enabled to indicate when the joystick has passed its axis limits, either with a continuous vibration or with a single tap. We've found this to be helpful for quickly learning to feel the force required for a given sensitivity value. An armrest is included, which can help prevent fatigue during extended use. Because of the vertical axis, the joystick should be used while fixed to the surface it's on. This can be on top of the desk using a common C-clamp, or in front of the desk using the included desk mounting clamp. Since mounting is important, the joystick also includes multiple screw hole patterns compatible with common industry mounts to provide mounting flexibility.
We're excited to be working on the future of intuitive, six degree of freedom control. And we want to thank everybody in the HOTAS and maker communities that supported us so far. After two years of development, we finally feel ready to share our controller with you in this first limited run, and we hope that you'll back the project.